world works and I mean there's lots of good things about that but there's but there's too much there's too much of that too much of the corporations like um, the government um, giving tax breaks and allowing you know and the licenses and all this stuff to people who pay the exorbitant amount of money to in order to be able to do the trade and all this stuff when you should just blast it up blast it open and make it more fractal make it more um, um, fair for the individual person to do stuff um, I mean I know there's definitely reasons that you know like Walmart can succeed is because they can they can charge a lot less because they have the technology to just throw the goods on the crate and then the, the goods don't have to be checked individually by the person as they go into the store they just enter the store and and there's less man hours so they can charge less for the product so that's good but as but I mean like people um, like if you want to import something you know having to go through this and through that and the next thing um, is, is not right because it makes it just puts all the power in the hands of the few and the money in the hands of the few and nobody can get their foot in the door with anything and and then and then you have all these different levels of the bureaucracy of the um, companies and legal and all this stuff that just it bogs it down and makes life really much more expensive than it should be. So we need to teach people to think for themselves and work for themselves. I think that's pretty much common knowledge. I should, probably shouldn't have gone so in depth into that because it's. I think everybody can agree. So basically, it's like duh. We need to make a educational system that teaches people to do that. So, um, so basically, um, um, certificates should be awarded because you passed the test. Now, I think it's more like that in England. I heard it was more like that in England where um, if you can pass the test, like, like in medical school, if you pass the test, well then you're a doctor. And that's how it should be with everything. Um, if it was like that, you could have multiple degrees. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to go to school ever in the way that school is designed now. I'm not going to go get a PhD just for the sake of getting a PhD. I mean, I think it's kind of ridiculous you you hear people talk about like talk about themselves like on like I don't know, like personal profiles or whatever and they're like, "Yeah, I got my PhD or, you know, I'm really into education. I want to get a PhD." It's like and that's all they say. It's like PhD in what? Like where the fuck is your PhD? Is it on your website? Of course not. All people care about is the like the the title. But anyways, I think titles are great, but it should be all be like if you just pass the test. So if you can get, you should be able to get lots of them, lots of PhDs. So yeah, let's standardize it. But if they, if they standardize it and you and you know what the test you have to pass, and you pass the test, then you have the then you you have the degree. And and I mean maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me like let's say you want to be a microbiologist, well then make a test that's really 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 big you know kind of like the bar exam for lawyers um, and if you pass the test then then boom you have your microbiology degree and it doesn't even and and um, and and if you want to get the microbiology degree because you want to be a microbiologist but you don't want to go to school because you have because you live out in the boonies or because you don't have the money or because you're just generally an antisocial person or whatever. You should be able to um, still be a microbiologist if you can pass the test. So you just take that test and uh, and you can take it home with you and you and you just study the test over and over again and uh, and you take the test as many times as you want and you fail and you take it and you fail but one day you pass it and the day you pass it, you're a microbiologist, and there you go. And that's what it should be. So school and degrees shouldn't be based on, like, how many hours in fucking class you do. Because that's how it is now. It's based on how many hours in class you are. It's like you have, to, oh yeah, I got my degree because I have 139 hours. Oh, you don't have your degree because you only have 126. You need nine more hours. Um... So then people go, well, fuck this. I'm not going to school anymore then. And that's why they drop out, because it's stupid. Um, 
I mean, why would you go to school to watch some idiot go blah, 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 blah. You can do that with the technology these days. You can do that while you're riding your bike down the road with your MP3 player and watch somebody, listen to somebody go blabbity, blabbity, blabbity. Um, so, I mean, somebody might go, oh, but if you, if you make it so that the kids don't have to go to school anymore, then, then they won't. That is such bullshit. People are social animals. They're like lions. They naturally converge where there's other people. I mean, look at how many people show up at football games. Look at how many people show up at, uh, at rock concerts. If you allow kids, if you don't make it mandatory for kids to go to school, they're still going to go to school. Um, look at all the kids who go to high school parties. I mean, kids go to school because they like being around other kids. So don't, so don't make it, make, they're still going to go. So don't make it, make graduation depend on how many hours you log in. It's not a fucking factory. You don't clock in. Um, let, pe let people take responsibility for their own shit and go. And, uh, you know, they show up at school to learn. Not, not to, not to, uh, not to, to log the hours and pat and um, so that's one problem is is just make it make it test based um, and um, you know and you can make the test standardized and then and if you don't like the way the test is then you can come test that and try to make a better test and you know get your test passed or whatever but um, but have make it so that you don't have the test on on like certain days and especially don't another thing that really pisses me off is that they yeah they don't tell you they never tell you what your paper is going to be on oh and they tell you what you can do your paper on too which is bullshit you should be able to allow choose you know and yeah sometimes they let you choose but it's like four things so there's four things no let let somebody do have it really open-ended um <coughs> and i think we should utilize technology like websites i think instead of saying oh i have my high school degree just be like oh yeah i have my um my degree in this subject because i pass a test and look at my website like my, my like instead of a resume if you're applying for a job instead of showing what um what school you went to and what your gpa was you just show them your website and what and what um what tests you pass, what degrees you have. And if it was like that, people would be motivated. Um, now, as far as like class ranking, I think that's great. I mean, making it um, uh, competitive is great. Um, but you should make it, but blast it open and make it, make it so that you can be competitive in anything, you know? So like on your website, you say, oh yeah, I'm 51st in my class in this, I'm 62nd in this, I'm 4th in this, and, and just list it all the way down the line of like 200 different fucking subjects in your school. Like badminton, even though maybe I only showed up at badminton once, but I did really well in one tournament and it got me in, ranked as uh, 64th in my school. Oh, lock it right in there. Boom, there's your numbers. And maybe at the bottom you can have the overall ranking. I'm overall ranked highest of anyone in my school. That's great. But, um, but I mean, have it all based on your own schedule. So you can take any of the tests whenever you want. Um, yeah, because I remember so many times there that the teacher's like, I don't know when the test is going to be on. And then on Thursday, oh, yeah, okay, it's tomorrow. And this is what it, you know, why? That's compartmentalization. And that's what's wrong with this world, is all the compartmentalization. That's how the government can get away with siphoning off $17,000 a year per person in America and spending that money trying to make flying saucers, um, you know, underground against the knowledge of everybody else and build tunnels underground. You know, this guy doesn't, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing, and, uh, a need to know basis and secrecy and all this bullshit. Um, our educational system is designed to train people to do that because of all the compartmentalization of knowledge. 
Um, I never at school at the beginning of class. The, the teacher would give you like the syllabus of the class, but it would be like one page long. Well, the syllabus should be the, the lesson plan of the entire year should be boom right there and you should take it with the class one the test whenever you want and um, you know and it should be access you should be able to get access to um, also the test scores like I, I'd love to know what my SAT was in high school but I've tried and I've tried I tried it like 10 years ago and I can't get it <laughs>